Well, hello, 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 hello out there. It's everybody's favorite black conservative in New York, Christopher Wright. And I'm just here to do another walk and talk with you. Hope everybody out there, all my fellow deplorables and patriots out there are doing okay. And, uh, you know, just want to go ahead and get my next walk and talk for you guys out there. So today's video, uh, the topic I want to touch on, touch up on is, uh, to me, a very important topic. Uh, something that's, again, uh, something that's been an issue currently going on in the country. And I feel that uh, it needs to be touched up on and uh, people need to be talking about it. And that is the censorship of right-wing conservative message on, on the internet. That's the issue. Um, and as you know, in my continuation of the walk and talk video I did the first time, I spoke on that topic a little bit and I mentioned what happened to me with, with Facebook and after I posted my first walk and talk video, uh, the type of response I received for doing that kind of video and what the backlash I got and how they banned my, well, they suspended my account for two days after I posted the video. And so what I want to kind of talk about was just the different conservative outlets that I, I tune into and how they've been censored as well for bringing, pretty much bringing a right wing message um, when, you know, as you know, so most of social media and uh, mainstream media is ran by liberals. Um, uh, a recent event that's happened that was brought to my attention was what happened in, what happened in Brazil. Um, oh, I think it's just last couple of days it's been going on. They had the elections going on over there now. And what happened was they, wait a second, I'm crossing the street. I'm at work now, by the way. I'm not in my house uh, walking through Brooklyn. I'm in a different part of Brooklyn. I'm in the Flatbush area. Instead of, uh, so that's kind of where I'm at now. But what uh, happens going on in Brazil is they got an election going on there now. And on Facebook, they've used, you know, the people, of course, the Mark Zuckerbergs of the world, you know, the robotic individuals like him of the world in Silicon Valley have pretty much shut down all the right wing uh, social media outlets there in Brazil. So they're not able to um, present, you know, present their message like they would like to, unfortunately. And so what that does, that deters voters from, of course, hopefully, what, the, what they're hoping it does is deter voters from voting conservatively. And so they'll have kind of have a, uh, you know, a sweep of liberalism in that country. So, you know, that is technically fascism. And that's what's going on in Brazil right now. And it's, it's similar things going on in his own country. Like I said, it happened personally to me on Facebook. But there's been a lot of people that I tune into that are right-wing conservative news outlet sources. And they're always complaining about how they're getting censored or videos are getting removed or, you know, they're getting banned for comments or, you know, certain things they consider hate speech. That's not even hate speech. They just try to, you know, take things out of context and use that to ban people from spreading the message. So... That's been a serious issue going in the country. And it's not just on Facebook, but it's been on Twitter, um, you know, Instagram. You hear about it happening, especially on YouTube. You know, all those um, different sources you hear about people getting banned for 99.9% 9 of the time, a conservative point of view. They'll show a terrorist cutting off somebody's head before they'll show somebody, you know, supporting Donald, uh, talking support for Donald Trump, which is insane, if you ask me, especially in our, in our, in our own country. But that's the way it is, and that is the issue that I'm having, especially with social media. So that is the, you know, the, the main thing I wanted to speak about today is just, um, you know, just we got to find a different way of getting our message out there to the public without always so much depending on these uh, liberal-ran social media sources because I think in time they're going to pretty much shut us down. When it, especially if they get control of the House, the Senate, and of course the presidency, they're going to definitely shut us down immediately. I mean, Hillary Clinton was talking about that. If she would have won the presidency, she, she would have came after a lot of these right-wing outlets. So we were very close to already being in that position. And in a couple of days ago, if you weren't paying attention also, uh, Infowars and Alex Jones brought up the fact that Drudge Report and uh, a couple other, I didn't believe Infowars at the time, were had like a... Uh, uh, like they were testing like a media blackout for like a night where they just shut off certain popular conservative sources all, you know, and they didn't know what happened. It happened like, I think it was just one night it happened and then for a few hours and then it came back on again. So before they can even really wonder what was going on, everything is back up and running. But they, what I feel what they were doing 
um, the globalists of the world, they were testing it out and seeing what happened if they blocked out and blanked out a lot of these right wing sources overnight and what would they be able to do and what would happen and what would be the response. So I think that was just a test, probably preparing for the real deal eventually that they're going to try to do. Hopefully, you know, hopefully not, but you know, you can't trust these guys. So that's what I wanted to get out there today is to all my patrons out there, all the deplorables, you know, you got to be prepared. We're in that, like I told you earlier, we're in that information war. We got to get our message out there and we're going to be try to be censored and shut off and cut off and everything they can do to us. We're going to throw everything at us because right now we're, we're winning and they know we're coming. We're winning and we're doing so well and they know it. And they're, they're in, a, they're in def their defense mechanism mode right now. They're just trying to, you know, throw all the cards on the table and see what sticks. So just stay true to yourself. Stay true to country. Uh, thank you so much for all the motivational words and support you guys have been giving me. Uh, I'm just glad I'll be bringing these walk and talks as much as I can. Uh, I plan on switching it up soon and bringing more people on with me to do, bring their message as well. Um, there's some people I want to have on here to do their walk away testimonials. So hopefully we'll have that coming up for you soon. But thank you for tuning in. And again, if you like, please like and subscribe the video. And when, and when, you, when you subscribe, remember that little bell that comes up next to the notification. For a, when you subscribe, please click on that so you'll be notified anytime I post a new video up. And just hope you enjoy the rest of my content. I keep presenting you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and God bless. God bless America as well, of course. Bye.